Hi everyone. Um, this is going to be an overview of how to do the shoulder unwinding sequence. Um, this is a kind of really comprehensive shoulder joint movement um, mobilization. So, really effective. Um, okay, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this standing first um, and then get on the ground and demonstrate that way. So, this will show the motions in a little bit more. You know, effective viewpoint, I think. Um, so, you're going to be on the ground, abs are engaged, and you're going to have one knee up. Right? You're going to be doing the opposite arm. So, and that leg is still up. Overhead, right? thumb touches the ground or as close as you can get to it, right? And then you're going to spin down, and then thumb touches, same side, ground, uh, by your hip. You're internally rotating so that your thumb can get down. Then you spin back up to overhead. Again, only as far as you can comfortably get. And then you're coming down and you're touching on this hip, which will have the knee up. Overhead, down, overhead, touch. All right, so that's the sequence. I will go ahead and switch arms on this one. So I'm gonna be doing my right hand. My left leg is up. Right, the other leg is nice and extended. You want to make sure your abs are engaged. Yeah, everything's uh, nicely set in the upper body. And then you start with you start with arm overhead. Right, you let it come down as far as you comfortably can. So either touching the ground or if you're not quite there yet, wherever that is, and then down. Thumb touches on the right side. Back up overhead. And then down, reaching across as far as you can, getting into that hip space. So it's not necessarily trying to touch just the top of your hip. You want to think about reaching as far as you can and down as you can, getting into that stretch position. Up, same hip, up, opposite hip. Back and forth, nice calm breathing. While you do this, and just allowing yourself to move comfortably. Now, if you're feeling like, oh, this is super easy, um, you can make a fist and try and touch the fist down on all the points. So basically, you just take your thumb out of it and you have to move further with the shoulder. Um, but I would only advise doing that if you feel very comfortable with the thumb extended. Um, as I said, it's really good for hitting a lot of rotational movements in the shoulder and, you know, that full flexion up and down. So if you feel any kind of clicking or discomfort or anything, just try to, I don't want to say move around it. That's not quite the right term. Um, but try and move in a way that you do not feel that discomfort or the clicking, right? That's a little more optimal for your shoulder joint. So if you're doing that and it's consistently popping in one spot, try and move a little differently. Maybe try and tighten your abs more. Maybe think about changing where your shoulder blade is. Um, but if it's ending up like it's just too much and the rotation is uncomfortable, then you can cut out parts of that and you're still getting a really good shoulder mobilization movement. So um, try it out. Make sure you're breathing comfortably and really keep the abs nice and engaged so your ribs stay tucked. That's important. And I think that's it. Have fun.